Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now I've got the big GS up and running properly again after a few shenanigans over the last few weeks. She's running really well, uh, but it's been a little while since I treated her to any new farkle. So over the next few weeks, what I want to do is add a few little uh, extras to the bike, things that uh, I've just wanted to do for a while, but I haven't had a chance to do so. Now it's kind of winter and grim outside. It seems like it's a, a good time to do that. Starting this week with some of these. These are from Machine Art Moto. They're called the Advance Guards, and basically they're replacement hand guards. They're, uh, they're made of billet aluminium. They're really high quality bits of kit, uh, and they're super adjustable as well. So stick around, stay tuned. I'll show you how you fit them, what they look like, what they do. OK, so before we uh, crack on then, let's uh, just show you what you get in the box, because it's uh, sometimes nice to see what you get with these sorts of things, isn't it? Now, I said they were billet aluminium. I'm, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what billet aluminium is. Uh, they're made of aluminium for sure, so they're, they're stronger than the original plastic handguards, which is what uh, appeals to me. In the box, you get this. It's all nicely laid out. A box of bits. We'll have a look in there in a second. And here we go. These are the handguards themselves. Now, here we go. You see the beauty of these, say, solid here whereas the, uh, the OEM ones on the bike, of course, are made of plastic. Now, they seem quite strong, but I think if you did drop the bike, you know, you do risk that they would bend and you would maybe lose a lever or something. Uh, but the beauty of these ones is they go on, this is obviously the right-hand one, and they've got these adjusters here. You can undo these, you see. And then, in the winter, if it's very cold and you want to get all the wind off, you can just adjust it up. So, uh, and then do those up again. Obviously, and... Uh, Bingo bongo, got a bit of extra protection, um, which I quite like, and, and they look they look really neat. And then also, if it's in the summer and you want maximum airflow, you can take this grey bit out as well. It just uh, unclips. So you've got basically three uh, three setups for it, if you like. The maximum one to get keep all the wind and the cold off your hand, which I like the idea of. The sort of standard one that looks like that, uh, or indeed in the winter, as I say, with that popped out. And then uh, this is all metal, and uh, yeah, should be nice and strong and a nice replacement for the uh, for the existing. The existing guards. So, how hard can it be to fit them? Who knows? Let's, uh, let's crack on and have a look. So, before we do crack on, it's just worth reminding ourselves what the original ones look like, just like this. Uh, I've, in fact, added these additional bits here. These are Touratec extenders, which have been quite useful for keeping the, the wind off my hands. But, of course, they're there all the time, so you can't adjust them to get additional airflow if you want to. Um, and when I fitted these, it was a bit of a nuisance. You had to actually drill holes in the original handguard, so I've got these screws here, which are just a little bit unsightly. Uh, the other thing is, when I got this bike four years ago, about uh, two weeks after I got it, I actually dropped it in a gravel car park and it coming out of a pub. It was one of those stationary drops. I just let the bike down. But uh, unfortunately, it meant this handguard actually got scratched. So another reason to replace them is it gets rid of the scratch uh, and also get extra bar ends on the end as well. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to remove the single blemish that I've got on the bike that annoys me. So another good reason to replace them. OK, so just before we do get cracking, uh, I said we'd have a quick look in here, see what's in here. So I'm assuming this is just, yeah, just some uh, connectors and bracketry and so on, as you'd expect. Uh, what's in there? Got some sort of, uh, look like spacers in there. And in here, ah, we've got some uh, bar ends and bolts. Excellent. So all the things we need to fit the, uh, the handguards. And it does come with instructions here, which is just a very, to be honest, not particularly extensive instructions but how hard can it be uh, and these are obviously designed to fit various bikes it says here for the uh, GS 2013 plus the LC which obviously mine is uh, to use kit one so I need to find which brackets that is but uh, looks relatively straightforward in terms of taking off the old hand guards I've uh, printed off some stuff from the um, from the BMW workshop manual which shows you exactly how you should go about removing the original ones um, because there's uh, you know they fit kind of near the brake reservoirs and stuff so I want to make sure I'm absolutely doing this correctly Again, looks very straightforward. How hard can it be? Right, let's crack on. OK, just looking at the workshop notes here. I'll just do the, uh, the left one and show you how that's done, because obviously the other side's going to be basically the same, uh, and then show you what they look like when they're finished. Uh, so according to this, all you have to do, remove the left mirror. Uh, that can't be hard, can it? Uh, remove the handlebar weight. Again, not hard. Uh, and then off it pops. I think the more tricky bit is going to be um, actually fitting the other one, because I don't quite know how the brackets are going to fit, given we've got the... Um, you know, we've got the uh, clutch cable, we've got electronics coming out of here, uh, etc. So um, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze. I think that's going to be the tricky bit of this job, but let's see how we get on. Right, push back cover, it says. Up you come. Come on. And slacken lock nut, which is that one, so. Seems to work. Hmm, okay. Gonna be like that, is it? These things are never straightforward, are they? Look at that. Come on, screen. Let's 
not going to help. Right that way. There we go. We won't lose that washer. Right, I've just moved the camera because I realised you couldn't see this uh, end very well, so I've just got to undo this. There we go. Make sure nothing goes pinging out as I take it off. Here we go. So we've got spacers and bar end. Now I'll lose those. And there we go. That's that off. All right. Now comes the tricky bit. Okay, in an attempt to put off the uh, tricky bit, let's do the more straightforward bit first, which is the uh, bar end. So we basically reuse the original parts. Let's sit on like that. In you go. Right, there we go. So that's going to sit on there somehow. And the tricky bit is going to be getting this bracket on this end. There's a lot to get in the way of it, but uh, oh, there goes my bit. The clutch uh, doesn't fail or anything, so that's fine in terms of positioning. Let's have a look at this bit now. It's going to be a bit more tricky. So I've just shifted the camera again just to show you this bit here. This is the, uh, obviously the, the uh, hard guard we've just put on. You can see the bracket is going to come very close to where the, uh, the line is for the clutch and also some of the wiring. So we're uh, not quite sure how that's going to work. We need to have a look at, close look at the bracketry. OK, so this is the uh, bracketry concerned. Um, and looking at it, it looks like it does come down very low and then up. So it looks like, uh, looks like it might be designed for the bike. Let's, uh, let's put it in situ, see how it looks. OK, so a uh, little bit of faffery, but it's quite, uh, it's not a lot to be fair. It's, uh, it's quite clever how they've done this bracket. It does in fact fit so that the lines go through this sort of uh, U-shaped piece and then just put the top bracket on there. And hopefully, with minimal problems, I'll be able to just bolt that on and it won't foul anything. So, uh, yeah, it looks like quite a nice bit of design actually. Just need to loosen this off so I can tighten those all up and we should be good there. OK, so I've put these, uh, these bolts in here, one here and then two either side of this bracket. Uh, and it's all nice and tight now, it's not, not moving anywhere. And as you can see, that sort of clever U-shaped design means that this cable here and the clutch um, line doesn't foul on anything. So, uh, yeah, it's quite clever, actually. There's actually a little tiny bit of clearance there. So, quite pleased with how that's gone on in the end. OK, great. So, um, let's just put it in its uh, upward winter position. There you go. Lock that in place. As it's winter. Cool. Looks good. Nice. Good protection. Like it. Right, just going to put the mirror back on and then that's that side done. Nice. Right, one down. I'll get the other side on, then we'll have a chat. So there we go. The job's are good and that's the uh, new advanced hand guards uh, fitted. Uh, now, as it happens, I made that look a lot harder than it really w was. I mean, it was because I was working out how it all kind of went together as I went along. But when I did the other side, it literally was a three-minute job to put that on. So really, really easy to fit. And I think they look great. So remains to be seen how effective they are with the adjustments through the summer and next winter. But uh, I'll give you updates as we go. But for now, I'm really pleased with how they look. And uh, hopefully, with this uh, you know, actual metal frame, they should be a little bit stronger than the original ones. And as I say, it cleared up the little blemish that I had. So I'm really happy with those. Uh, if you're interested in the set, I got those from uh, Nippy Normans. They're pretty expensive actually, they're about £179 I think if I remember rightly. I'll stick a link below. Uh, but they are really nicely made bits of kit, so uh, yeah, but quite quite a salty old price it has to be said. Anyway, hope this has been of some interest to you and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, this has been the Mr. Fly. Cheerio.